Operation Warp Speed has totally eradicated the virus. And I'm sure things are back to normal now. I don't want to say anything controversial, so let's talk about how much we hate Ghostbusters 2. Ghostbusters 2 sucks, yes. okay? <laughs> so the remake came out, and everyone's like, they're ruining Ghostbusters. I'm like, I'm like well, 2 sucked. No, I said the same thing. Like, two the sucked. Only... There's one good video game. There's some yeah. cool toys. But as a franchise overall, it's not that good. If you're going to hate me for not liking Ghostbusters yeah. 2, then you're going to be shocked by a lot of other movies I don't like. <laughs> there's, there's some oh, movies... We have a whole list of other movies to talk about. We're like, remember, oh, remember when I said I wasn't a Goonies kid? Because I hate the Goonies. Oh, I love Goonies. Anyway... Hello, Newt. Hey, Tony. It's been a very interesting week, hasn't it? <laughs> Extremely. <laughs> uh, let's let's see what happened. Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear, but uh, outside we have some lovely protesters <laughs> practicing their First Amendment rights to protest. Mm -hmm. uh, they're very upset with our takes on uh, Ghostbusters too. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thought? I, I didn't realize the movie had that many fans. Uh, you know, they they keep saying uh, they keep saying that like our review shitting on it. it we were stealing their childhood memories of how great the movie and was. It was. Stop the steal! They're chanting "Stop yeah. the steal" because of our Ghostbusters two review. Yeah, they're all out there. They're really really bad. We had to board up the windows and doors. It was a uh, kind of a nightmare. Nuke got injured. Look at that. They heard him. They hurt him really bad. Not as bad as me. Look at that. That's, I know. I that's was, an injury. I was worried about that. That's Here's my other question. This place doesn't have a working bathroom. How are we going to be handling this? Uh, we're going to drink these and then use the empty cans to pee into, obviously. All right, but I got a, I got a, a, a poopy coming. So. Look, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, Newt. Uh, yeah, so uh, I, I think they're acting like children. Yeah. So I went out there earlier, and I said, you're, you're not acting like men. You're acting like a bunch of boys. And they were like, you know what? We're Ghostbusters fans, and we're proud. We're proud boys. And I'm like, okay, proud boys. And then they threw a brick at me, so that's when I got in here. Uh, yeah, oh! Speaking of which, uh, speaking of stuff that's been up, I, I got my stimulus check. Yeah, no. Um, why don't you tell everybody what you got with your stimulus check? Well, I got these metal arms <laughs> for the microphone. See, Nude has a habit of banging the goddamn table. No, don't do that. Oh, sorry. So I got these arms. I think they're a little too big. A little bit. I think they're a little distracted. They would be good if this was just a podcast. But uh, for we the should... purposes of the show, they're a little big. Well, if we get a second stimulus check, you could get a podcast table. I, true, true. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure we'll get that any day now. You know right? what I use my stimulus check for? What? Uh, rent and bills and um, my cat's food. Oh. Yeah. But no, these arms are great. Yeah, they're great. I think they're pretty great. Don't face that way when you talk or the microphone won't pick you up. Make sure you're facing this way or that I'm way. I'm facing. I'm facing. We're like morning yeah. drive time radio guys. Yes. Uh, so, you know. <laughs> We're talking about these protests out there, yeah. which are for Ghostbusters too, and nothing else. That's right. Uh, you know, we're talking about uh, talking about the stimulus check. Mm -hmm. Last week we got a little political. Well, you got political. I try not to. Uh, today, the people watch the show to escape, Newt. Yes. Okay. So let's talk about the movie that's about terrorism in DC that had to be postponed because of 9/11. <laughs> Collateral damage. Collateral from 2002. damage. That's right. A movie I'd never seen until tonight. Yes, yeah. uh, I had only seen it once, and I imagine most people have either never seen it or only seen it the once. O th the only reason I even remember this movie was because of 9-11. Yes. I had a movie theater, and they were like, hey, uh, wake up. It was my day off, and they are yeah. like, hey, 9-11 happened. And I was like, "How? what? <laughs> and uh, they were like, you got to come in and take down anything that anyone would find offensive. So the collateral damage trailer and posters, Spider-Man, yeah. uh, Training Day, uh, I think the Zoo. Land. Why was Training Day? I, I, I don't know. Hmm. Training Day has a lot of the same characters who are in this, too. It really yeah. does. Hold on. Yep. Okay. Ooh. Oh, geez. Okay, continue. Yeah. So that's really the only reason I even remember this movie, because this movie is essentially a fart of a movie. It really, it's very forgettable. All right, so this movie, an early draft of this film, mm -hmm. and this is a coincidence, but 
they lucked out on this one. This was originally go. The movie is about Arnold's family being killed by terrorists and yeah. him wanting revenge. Originally, it was going to be Arab terrorists. Oh, and Arnold was going to go to Libya <laughs> to fight them. Uh, he could have teamed up with Rambo. Yeah, so they changed it to Colombia, mm -hmm. and I couldn't. I read somewhere why they did it. I think there was some hostility going on in Colombia at the yeah. time, so it was more relevant. Little did they know mm -hmm. what was going to happen. Um, Nine Eleven happens. Yeah. You remembered it, right? I remember. I'll never forget. Yeah, it. Me either. So it happened, and uh, this movie was supposed to come out in October, yeah, two thousand one. Yep. Yeah, I which would have that that that's just a bad stroke of I luck. I still have one of the posters with the original uh, release date on it. Yep, because the original poster isn't this. No. It's like something else. Different. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Um. Yeah. So they had to cut out some stuff in this. I can, and it does not show at all. <laughs> One of the things they cut out, mm -hmm. uh, Sofia Vergara was going to be in this. Really? Yes, Colombian actress Sofia Vergara. This would have been like one of her first big yeah. movies. Mrs. Uh, who was uh, Mrs. Joe Manglion Galanga Mamanga? What? The dude who's uh, Magic Mike guy, Deathstroke. Uh, are they? That's in a movie his wife. Get... Oh, in yeah. real life? Yeah, I had no idea. She's the, she's the lady from Modern Family. Modern Family. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's yes. his wife. Yeah. Yes. Uh, do you want to know what she would have done in this movie? Oh, please tell me. She was going to hijack a plane for the terrorists. Good call deleting that scene. Good call. To be fair. Yeah. She's super hot, and I would have probably <laughs> in invited her into my cockpit. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine being Sofia Vergara? Like, I'm going to be in this big Arnold movie. Yeah. It comes out next month, and then you're like... Now nope, my scene's getting and like there's no way there's no way you can fight for your scene back. I'm like, uh oh, we'll be on the DVD. Like, probably not, to be honest. Mm, yeah. <laughs> um that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, so you were talking about how they like uh they pulled it. Yeah. Uh this is pretty sad. <laughs> A well-known Vietnam war veteran and radical anti-war activist, Stan Goff. Uh he worked on this film. Yeah. He was like a technical military advisor. Okay. <laughs> he said, uh let me see. It was one of the worst experiences of his life, and that the finished product was yet another gun and fireballs, macho death cult fascist film myth. I can see that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Except not... no guns on Arnold's part. Yes. That's very one thing you're going to notice. Arnold doesn't use guns in this. Yeah. And which... I know that... Um... One of the, uh, there was like a period of time, uh, Last Action Hero, he wanted his character in the NES game not to use a gun, so that's no. why he just goes around punching everybody. But then after that, he did Eraser, which had guns. And this is like, this is probably why I never saw this movie before, because like Eraser, the sixth day, end of days, I shouldn't care. After Batman and Robin, I was yeah. so jaded i was like i don't yeah. care about this i was just compared to end of days i think end of days is way oh, better end than of days this. is way more memorable <laughs> end of days is a masterpiece. We, we we still reference end of days <laughs> you know i don't think you guys realize we make the 1999 666 joke all the time and sometimes in like important meetings about important business <laughs> like, well, you stuff know, sometimes in dream <laughs> okay so let's start off Collateral damage. Collateral damage. Yep. Uh, Arnold is a firefighter in this yes. movie. Yes. Yes. Uh, him and his firefighter friends, they're in a burning building. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it uh, reminds you of Backdraft, but not as good. No, not as good. And as soon as you said it, I was typing it in my notes. Yes. Is so it? it <laughs> he's, he's in the building. <laughs> yeah. They're like, my old grandma's upstairs. And Arnold's like, okay, I'll go get her. And he goes up the stairs and you hear this like lady going, help me. And like right away, we're like, this seems like the Green it's Goblin. It's the Green Goblin. <laughs> <laughs> because the voice acting is so bad. Mm -hmm. It's like, please help. I am dying. Yeah. <laughs> help me. I can't walk. Jack, take your baby ladder for this hole right now. You guys stay back. I'm going in. Fuck, fuck, damn it. Yeah, so we're getting the credits and uh, John Leguizamo and John Totoro. Yeah, in this. exactly. I, I, and I'm like, and, oh, um, well, they're going to have big parts in this movie. Yeah, Raymond Cruz yeah. is in it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, fresh off of uh, Alien Resurrection. Not oh, really. Yes. You know, I think, <laughs> like you said, Training Day was like a big thing mm -hmm. for all these guys. Uh, yeah, so we uh, he saves everyone in the build burning mm -hmm. building because he's the hero. He's the hero, yeah. And then we see the touching family moment mm -hmm. with his wife and his kid who's playing connects. And Arnold builds like this intricate connects yes that you know it's did, insane it, <laughs> oh. and then, but then the oh i don't know how this is gonna go well, well, well before okay. we get to that <laughs> we get a look at arnold's home gym oh right 
which is a exercise bike mm-hmm. and some free weights. Yeah, this massive <laughs> mammoth of a man. This is the thing that bothers me about these Arnold movies where he's just married to like a normal lady and he's just yeah. a he's just a guy. No, it's Arnold fucking Schwarzenegger. Yeah. He's 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 an Olympic god. Yeah. And it's just like, I they, just, like it's so funny how like, I mean, now it would be hard to do, but for so many years, we just accepted it. We're yeah. like, oh, well, clearly this is just an ordinary cop who's a bodybuilder. And and growing up in the suburbs and stuff like that, I never saw a dad who looked, looked like, like that. that. Yeah. yeah. You know, uh, I mean, I've seen muscular dads, but not that like he's not grabbing his 15 pound weights. No, exactly. No, I mean, maybe he's working out. At I the would fire buy it if that station. was his, if that was his. Yeah, there you go. If, if, if that, that was his sense, wife's but, like, gym. But with that, I've known firefighters yeah. who are in good shape. I know it's like, but like you, you, you have need, all those calendars in your office. I do. I have a lot of count because <laughs> I respect firefighters. Exactly. Okay? I don't know how mm-hmm. you feel. The little boy says to his mom, "Yeah, do you want to see me slam dunk like my Kobe slam dunk?" Yeah, Kobe and Bryant. This was a year dunk. before Kobe Bryant was a convicted sex. Pervert. Was he convicted? I think he was. I think he got away with it because like he bought his wife a really nice ring. <laughs> and then I think it, he was alleged. I don't think he was convicted. I don't know. I mean, I, know, I think that girl's story. I forget. I have to look into it. it either was, way, either it, way. Rest in peace. It was uh, yes. He, Rest in peace. Yes, he's yep. a hero. He and this is one year after they beat the Philadelphia 76ers yes. in the NBA Finals. Yes, and that's the only NBA game I've ever been to was Game Three of the Finals, <laughs> and that was a high school graduation uh, gift from a family member who didn't clearly didn't know me because I'm like <laughs> basketball. Mm, all right, okay. I'm a hockey fan, well, but sure, yeah. you know. Um, you know when I found out uh, Kobe Bryant died. When I was like on my way, uh, actually, when I was at Justin Wang's house to film Cyber oh, Filter really? Friends, I'm like, oh, Kobe Bryant did die. He's like, wait, is that real? I'm like, yeah, apparently. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I was with Justin Silverman and yeah. he's like, Kobe Bryant died. I was like, what? And, I, and it, yeah, it turned out it was true. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. let's get, again, all that real world stuff. Let's escape into this fantasy film. Into this film fantasy film. Of- to escape the horrors of reality, <laughs> Newt. Okay. Anyway, um, Oh, so we 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 in, we're introduced to the wolf, the wolf who's Lobo. dressed as a uh, he, who's dressed as a bike cop. Oh, we forgot to mention the director of this did a bunch of Steven Seagal movies. Yes, he did. Um, what was the other movie he Above did? Above the Law, Under yeah. Siege. Uh, he did like another. He did the Fugitive. The Fugitive. The yes, Fugitive, which, which was rem- an Academy yeah. Award nominated. Which movie. reminds me, uh, do we have it? We got to do the sequel to The Fugitive, U.S. Oh, US Marshals. Marshals, with Spike, uh, with uh, uh, Wesley Snipes. Wesley Snipes. Yeah, yeah. I want to talk about specifically the sequel. I, I got a funny story <laughs> about that. Anyway, Cliff Curtis, who I'm not a fan of. Why is that? Because I auditioned to be in The Last Airbender. Oh, that's right. And I was going to be uh, Jackson Rathbone's body double, mm-hmm. and I got paid one day to try on outfits. And then they never called me again. But Cliff Curtis got to be the Fire Lord in the movie. So I'm, I'm jealous that he got to be in Last Airbender. Yeah. That universally panned film. <laughs> you were like, okay, I didn't get that one, but I was in Thugs vs. Dinosaurs. So. I was in Thugs vs. Dinosaurs. <laughs> Which movie's yeah. worse? Mm. So very unrealistic off the bat. Arnold's like, hey, officer, can I park my car here? I'll just be a minute. And he's all like... Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it's fine. Right away, Arnold should have been like, Arnold shouldn't have even tried. Because he would see the cop. He'd be like, oh, no, this guy's going like, to ticket me out the ass. Or if he lets me, that guy's not really a cop. Exactly. You know? We're a little biased. Not so oh. much cops, but uh, we we spent time in Philly and the parking authority. The parking authority in Philly is so famous for being shitty yeah. that they had a reality show yes. about how shitty. Yeah, yep. My mom once was like, hey, I know someone who can get you a job in the parking authority. And I'm like, I'd rather be poor <laughs> because I hate the parking authority. <laughs> I've been taking it so many times by the Philadelphia <laughs> parking authority. I can't become the villain. And parking in places like uh, down in like Chinatown and stuff like that that are like, there's a sign there that says you could park there. And then when you come back, the sign's gone. And you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, it's so annoying. Um, so yeah, uh, Elias... Coates? Coates? Elias Cotillas or Coates? I co- I always said Elias Cotillas. I think I'm thinking like Kim Coates. Could be, but you're wrong. Casey Jones. Casey Jones from the two, uh, from 1990 and yes. 
uh, Ninja Turtles and then Ninja Turtles 3. Yes. Uh, he's been in a million things. He's been in the Zodiac, prophecy. The Prophecy. Really the prophecy. Uh, we were talking about Fallen, the Denzel was Washington. Was he in Fallen? I don't he was the serial killer. He was. Okay. Hey, by the way, last time I saw Fallen was the that year movie it came was out. Like, that movie was like a classier version of Shocker. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> you know? No one knows what we're talking no, about. No, not at all. But it, the, the, it connected to my head. I'm like, he's 100 fucking percent right. Yeah. Most people don't know what we're talking about, but there's a lot of movements. That's what they yeah. like. <laughs> so um, at this building yeah. that the CIA is going into... Mm -hmm. Arnold and his uh, Arnold's wife, wife and, kid, and kid. They just got done seeing the doctor. By the way, apparently Sven o o Thorson yeah. is in that scene. He's oh, like, really? That's Arnold's body double yeah, yeah, like, yeah. and long term friend. The bad guy in Abraxas, which I'm going to talk about yeah. at some point. Um, yeah, so they're there and they, like it's built up like the music is swelling mm -hmm. and they're like, hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Hi, kid. <laughs> and then they blow up and they die. Yeah. And then. And then they will just die. Arnold's like, oh no. And he's running. He just gets railed by a car. <laughs> <laughs> and I know it's not very funny, but like, it shouldn't be funny. But it's very, the way they did it, it's very funny. The way that they did it felt like a parody. Like if this. It really, you know what? It really felt like this was like a naked gun. Or exactly. A movie. You know, oh, we're going to have a hot dog and hi, dad, and then explosion. And then it's obviously a bunch of stunt guys doing a fire stunt yeah. being pulled by wires. Then it becomes the first instance of ridiculously terrible CGI fire yes. in this movie, which is quickly followed by slow-mo CGI sunglasses scene. Oh, yeah. sunglasses <laughs> like go up in the air, like all dramatically. <laughs> but you know what survived the explosion? What? Connects. And they're like pretty much intact. It was fucking intact. The spaceship wasn't but, even touched. By the way, Connects? Or Legos, those aren't let's go up, go somewhere with toys. No, you build it and you leave it there. Those are at home toys because you're going to lose those fucking people. Mm -hmm. You're going to lose them at home, but you might have a chance of finding them. You take them out to the park, you're fucked. And they're super expensive. Yes. So fuck that kid. I'm glad he died in a terrorist <laughs> attack. <laughs> uh, I did not say that for the record. Uh, <laughs> oh, so one of the FBI agents or CIA or whatever, mm -hmm. it's uh, the dude who is supposed to be the He's Martian the general man. in Man of Steel who's also the general in uh, Batman vs. Superman and apparently he's going to be the Martian Manhunter in the Snyder Cut which is coming in March. I feel like that's something a fan made up and Zack Snyder went yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah I always planned it. Always planned it. Uh, so do you think this is in continuity with Man of Steel? Because it has to be because <clears throat> Schwarzenegger was Mr. Freeze. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. And people are probably you know we probably got better you know, changed his name, obviously. After but then his wife died, which is going to send him right back into that tailspin. Yeah. Or maybe that was his wife. I mean, she looks different, but maybe he, Nora, maybe he got back. better. He got her better. And then, <laughs> and then like, you know, they changed their identity mm -hmm. and stuff. And the Martian Manhunter obviously couldn't save the kids because his weakness is fire, as That's we true. all know. Yep. So mm -hmm. I, I think this is. In so when you watch the DCEU, you start with Batman and Robin. Mm -hmm. And then this movie. <laughs> As I said to the other day, Gotham just has a really bad city planner, and they just have to <laughs> keep, keep redoing it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, where are we up to uh, now? The other FBI guy is the dude from the opening scene of uh, Jurassic, Jurassic Park. Park. Yes, the guy yeah. with the ember mm -hmm. mine. Yeah, yeah. And he's in a bunch of the movie. Yeah. Uh, we also introduce uh, Tuco Salamaca. Yeah, I forgot he was in this movie. There's so many people that show up in this For movie, one scene, and disappear. Then later on, we'll go. Oh shit, that's. That person, and we were both taken aback yes. by it. But so uh, what, what he, I don't even remember what he did. We just watched this movie. The the um, Arnold's buddies, who are all firefighters, he's came one of the friends. Yes, as a friend, he was one of them. But he's also in Training Day with the dude who plays the wolf in this movie. Right. They were the two guys who right. uh, put Ethan, what well, not Ethan Hunt, Ethan Hawke in the bathtub in that yeah. scene. That's almost uh, as coincidental as everything that happens in this movie. Yes. Uh, so yeah, Arnold's like watching the TV and uh, they show like, I think the footage of the cop and stuff. Yeah. He's like, oh, I talked to him. I could have stopped it. Mm -hmm. Well, because the wolf, who's this terrorist who later sends them footage of him is all like uh, in, in shadow, in shadow yeah. goes up to the camera, takes his glasses off so you can see his face. Yeah. And I'm like, well, that don't make no sense. Uh, well, as we'll find out. As we find out, it still doesn't make sense, but there is a reason they did that. Uh, so, yeah, so he meets with the FBI, and you were like, they'll just never bring a dude 
So an FBI. Yeah, there's like imagine uh, maybe if it was a witness, someone who was no, there. No, if there was a witness, they would take him to another location and yeah. they would get his statement and they would show him pictures. They wouldn't take him down into the area where the fucking yeah the the wheel of the motorcycle but yeah, the, the is motorcycle there. The motorcycle that blew up that caused the explosion. The they hot wheel, dog cart is down there. They wheel it past him, and no one had the thought to be like, "Hey, can we?" It's gonna be hard for this guy. Yeah. Can we maybe not wheel the fucking? No, no. Motor- show him the wheel, and then. Uh, let's cue up the footage of his wife and son. Yeah, they being even say they're like, this is, "This is gonna be hard to watch." It's like, well, it's just you just we need to know if that was the guy. You don't need to. <laughs> he knows his wife blew up. Just tell, just say, "Hey, this cop was that the guy?" Yeah. And you go, "Yes, that was the guy." Okay, sir. <laughs> bye. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> you have it here. Arnold is deciding whether he'll be the Punisher. Yeah. Or uh, what was it? The Punisher. Or... Oh shit! I forgot already. Hold on. <laughs> What was it? I'll be the Punisher, or I have not decided. Yet. Or you, you, you forgot? I forgot t- what the second word was. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> well, he's the Punisher, I guess. <laughs> Fuck. What was the other thing? He was sitting there on the bed. I'm either gonna become the Punisher or something else. It was funny, and I forgot it. Fuck. Yes, we'll we'll never be able to edit that joke into this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so- anyway. So he gets a call. Yeah. And it's uh, someone on the answer machine he's not happy with. So he just punches the answering machine. <laughs> just slams the answer <laughs> machine. And then he hears his TV. And I had a TV just like this. Mm-hmm. I miss when TVs could double as tables. Oh, yeah. Put you on I really miss putting yeah. stuff on top of the yep. TV. I just miss it. Mm-hmm. You can't do that now with flat screens. No. I mean, you could, but you have to be very... There's like uh, 12 year olds watching this right now. I don't know why. And they're like, what the fuck are they talking about? <laughs> TVs you put shit on top of. Like, my can- some- yeah. yeah. It's like, how? Oh, it's on the wall. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> uh, why are 12 year olds watching your show? Yeah, you're right. My demographic goes from like 20 to 40s, yeah. male, mostly male. They're demographic. Like, I remember that. <laughs> but I remember. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, he goes up to the screen. He sees the terrorists talking, like, Get, stay out of Colombia. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. And the terrorist He's very is very angry. The first terrorist is all in shadow, clearly wearing like a black stocking over yeah. his face, and and he's not part of the Colombian army. He is a t- he's a guerrilla, yes. guerrilla soldier yeah. mm-hmm. orchestrating these attacks. Yeah. He's mad about the U.S. being, being in, in Colombia. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then they cut to a um, a Colombian guy who's a who's a sympathizer yes. for the guerrillas, not one of the guerrillas, but he supports them in their efforts to the fight ban back. The guerrillas, huh? Ban the guerrillas. Clint Eastwood? Yes, yes. The, the gorilla, the cartoon character shows up. No, the guy shows up and like, this is this is where we get the title of the movie. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay. But they're like, the wolf did nothing but bring to the United States what the United States has brought to Colombia. But surely the killing of innocent people like Ann and Matt Brewer is a terrorist act. The deaths of the mother and the little boy are regrettable. It's called collateral damage. This scene, I remember like the back of my hand because it's so funny. So Arnold watches this, Mm -hmm. puts his angry face on. Um, Ah. It then cuts to like, uh, there's like a secure, there's people spying on the guy who was on TV Mm because they think he knows stuff. So they're spying. And then it cuts to Arnold. He must have just walked from his house. He's in the same outfit. And he just kicks the uh, cop at the guy's door and he goes, you want collateral damage? And then just... (laughs) Tommy was so style. Fucks this just, dude's room he's like, up. You want collateral damage? Huh? You want this? <laughs> I just imagine like, what if you're here one day and you're doing inventory at Hack the Movies video, and no. Arnold Schwarzenegger just fucks through your door? You know, <laughs> what'd you say about end of days? What? <laughs> well, I love Ghostbusters too. <laughs> yeah. Vigo uh, was my cousin. <laughs> so they, they tase him. Yeah. And unfortunately, they don't hold the taser enough, so he does not light on fire like Siphon Filter. Well, of course, yeah. Which I'm, I just want one movie where a guy gets tasered <laughs> yeah. and lights on fire. Mm-hmm. That's all I fucking want. <laughs> um. <laughs> but then they talk about, like, all they want to do is stop uh, because they, they want him out of there because of they're selling cocaine. Yeah. We're doing all this stuff because we're trying to get him to stop selling the cocaine. And this is like, I, it's so funny to see like how far we've come. Yeah. Like, not cocaine's not legal everywhere, uh, but we're at a point now where we're like finally looking back and being like, "Wow, the war on drugs was kind of fucking useless and yeah. created more problems." Mm-hmm. And we're watching it now, and they're like, "They're gonna put that poison on the street and blah blah." blah. And it's like, uh, what, does no one just go? Why don't we just legalize yeah, it? Yeah, and it. it d- 
why don't we just legalize it, make it ourselves here, and not have to worry about uh, Colombian drug trafficking? Tax the living fuck out of it. Take care yeah. of our deficit, you know? Yeah. No, please. Get your politi- polit- polit- politics out of here. And okay? I, I've, I've smoked weed three times in my entire life. Yeah. I didn't get drunk for the first time until I was 22, 23. Yeah. Never done anything else. I'm fucking lame. What a fucking prude you I are. I know. Jesus Christ. Um... But I no, brought, the only reason I bring I it up is just like, like a motherfucker. Though. <laughs> my uh, my dad was a narcotics officer, mm-hmm. and now looking back, I'm like, wow, there was a possibility my dad could have got shot over fucking marijuana. Yeah, and I'm like, I would have had to live with that. It's like, what a what a fucking. Why are we bringing this up? Your dad on? was a narc guy. Did he have to wear like a motorcycle helmet and a blue shirt everywhere he went, like in the game? Yes. Narc is awesome. Yes. <laughs> yeah, one day he came home and I was like, hi, dad. How was your day at work? He's like, well, I shot a skeleton that was shooting rockets. It was pretty fucking nice. <laughs> he lifted up his motorcycle helmet, you know, <laughs> visor. I love you, dad. Anyway. Uh, or he lifted it up and went, it's a me. Yeah. Don is dead. <laughs> anyway, we're again, we're getting a little, a little too yes, personal. Yes, yes. Remember. This show is an escape from reality. Yes. So anyway, uh, Casey Jones comes out mm-hmm. and he goes, uh, Senate intelligence, who named them that? They're all imbeciles. Yeah. And that, I thought that was an interesting line. Uh, it doesn't resonate with anything that's happening in the current world. So let's move so. on. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so Arnold wants to go to Colombia. Yeah. Which in this movie is actually Mexico because they apparently Colombia was too dangerous to film in. <laughs> um, so the, his firefighter friend comes, not not Tuco Salamanca. No, and this is the first time that I'm just like, but there's just big chunks of this movie that are missing. Yeah. By the way, I just want to point out. Yeah. I hit the table a couple times, oh. but it's probably not going to make a sound because I have these nice arms. That's a really well designed plan of using yeah. your stimulus money for these. Again, it's they're way too big. They're I know. way too yeah. big. But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll fix it. Anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, so continue. Yeah, yeah. so uh, Arnold's home and one of his firefighter buddies who came to see him in the hospital shows up and he's like, oh, hey, this is my friend. He's ex-military and he's also used to do a bunch of stuff in Colombia and he knows <laughs> everything about Colombia. So here he is. Good. It's so, like, the coincidence. It's so coincidental. And then Arnold, next thing you know, he's in khakis and he's in Colombia. Yeah, all right. So it's set up like a heist scene. Yeah. But it's just to get into Colombia. And it's like, well, you're going to want to take a bus here. And, and then he gets on the bus. Walk on foot yeah. here. And then you got to make I sure. I mean, I did a- I did like that as those things were happening, his narration was playing over. It was yeah. an interesting framing device for these yeah. things. But I'm just like. But it's. It feels like a heist movie, but it's but it's not. also not, not even the fucking heist angle. It's just like, oh yeah, I'm just this random DC firefighter guy who just so happens to have mm. this friend who could have served with the dudes in John Rambo yeah. who went down river to fucking Cambodia. You know, uh, <laughs> I like that's like if uh, fucking if someone killed your cat. Yeah, I was gonna say your family, but you're not talking to them. <laughs> so if someone killed your cat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Rest in peace. Hopefully, you notice the cat is dead, and it just doesn't sit so your don't apartment leave it on the floor for a couple days. <laughs> anyway, R.I.P. Like, gravy. <laughs> <laughs> no one, no one, Google no one's that. gonna get that. No reference. one Google that. Please, for the love of God, don't get too sad. So anyway, your cat dies, and yeah. there's a note that says like, "Hey, we're ISIS. We did this." Mm-hmm. And you're like, "Oh no!" Mm-hmm. And I just go, "Hey, Newt." I know a guy who hunts ISIS. Yeah. They're, I, I'm going to introduce you to them. He's going to get you into the Middle East to, to get revenge on your yeah, cat. Yeah, just a random... Wouldn't, ran- wouldn't you be like, Tony, what? How, why? How yeah. do you know that person? <laughs> Let's sit down. Let's talk about how we got to this point. Why is he hanging out at the video store? Why do you know him, you know? Well, he wants a copy of The Bear, which is over oh, there, that's I true. think. He's, yeah. He specifically liked The Bear. <laughs> he keeps renting Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so that was weird. Yeah. Um, so they get he gets into Colombia. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's like a um, a traffic stop. They're like test. They're like you know. <clears throat> I think the gorillas. Yeah. Are like they, they to were find checking who- all the they they knew he was coming into the country. Maybe I don't know. Yeah. That's kind of what it. Well, they like. killed like several people. Yeah. So I think they were. But like- they were checking all the cars and stuff like that. So they stopped the bus. So. Yeah. In like a Three Stooges style scene, you see them all moving behind the cars yeah. to not to be, evade these dudes whose yeah. job it is is to kill fucking everyone yeah. who comes in. You know. So uh, they start shooting at Arnold. Yes. And we both were like, oh, because he falls down a hill. And I'm like, oh, this seems like Predator. And then he falls down another hill. Yeah. Into a waterfall. And we're like, oh, this is like Predator. But bad. Oh, shit. 
Oh, the, you and I laughed I, fucking hysterically This is the second this. hardest we laughed. Yeah. So he's in the water. <sighs> <laughs> he's in the water. And some of it looks like a stuntman and stuff. Yeah. But then they're like, oh, well, we want to close up on Arnold's face. But we know it's too dangerous to film in these rapids. So we'll put a camera in the rapids and we'll just green screen Arnold into it. And like they do a slow motion of him being like, Whoa, and it's horrifying. You can fucking see the mat lines behind it. It is horrifyingly bad. We lost it. We lost it. And then he falls down a bigger waterfall. Yeah. In Predator, they did it for real. In this one, I guess it was more of a severe waterfall, but like, but but it's CGI him yeah. falling in the water. Oh, and it was bad CGI. But it I was is just like, so bad. But I'm like, they probably just said, "Hey, we're gonna come to your house. We're gonna film this in your swimming pool." And it's just him going, <laughs> and it's awful, you know. And then I was telling you about the movie Zombie Lake. There's a 1980, 81, 82 uh, uh, German zombie movie where they filmed all the girls in the lake above water mm. but the, they went underwater they're in a swimming pool and they're like oh we're in this murky lake where there's nazi zombies but like at one point you can see the ladder that you climb out of to get <laughs> out of the pool you know <laughs> uh so arnold survives this arnold survives it and when he comes up out of the water is the first that i saw of which also the, looks like predator when he crawls yes, out of the exactly water. but it's why i skipped a lot of these era movies he looks pudgy and uninterested now, granted, I'm not in good shape. You're shredded. Uh, obviously. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that actually, I worked out last night. I had like my first real training session last mm -hmm. night since the gym opened up. So yeah. that actually really just hurt. <laughs> <laughs> like, my, my, my pecs are really tight. So just stretching. It's like, oh, God, oh, that really hurt. I can't wait till someone clips that and puts it on a subreddit. Should somewhere. I not be massaging my man? No, boobs? no, do it. Yeah. <laughs> Slower though. That really hurt. <laughs> I didn't realize how bad that hurt until I stretched. Just do, just do it slower. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, so yeah. so yeah, he looks pudgy and uninterested. But then we cut back to the FBI, and this was interesting. This was something I took from the movie. Yes, they show his uh, passport, mm -hmm. and his birthday is October twenty third. Oh. so he and I have the same birthday. Nice. Yeah, October twenty third. You so. and Arnold character yeah, in this movie. Whose name Who, we don't learn until like the last minute well, of the movie. no, they said it a million times. We, we just, just weren't paying attention. And, but all these Arnold <laughs> movies you just call him Arnold. What was his name in End of Days? Jericho. Jericho. Something Jericho. <laughs> I wanted to say Lazarus. I was like they're both fucking stupid. <laughs> you know? Um. So yeah, so he's there in the town mm -hmm. and uh, a guy on a motorcycle almost runs over a little boy. He looks like the dude from uh, The Sopranos. Remember the Italian guy who comes over with the ponytail? I didn't watch a lot oh, of okay. I mean, I have it here. Yeah. Maybe I'll watch the first season on VHS and I'll be go. up to date. So, yeah. So, uh, the dude on with the ponytail who looks like the guy with the ponytail from The Sopranos yeah. is coming down the thing. And they almost run over a little kid yeah. and a mom. Francesca Neri. Yes. From Hannibal. And the, I, the 1990 unreleased... Captain America. Well, it released on video. It was supposed yeah. to go to theaters. The, you Cap know what? That's one we got to do. Yes, that is what I Where remember. Red Skull is Italian. Yeah, yeah. I remember watching that on TV, being like, "There's a Captain America movie." He has Why rubber. Does he has rubber ears. It does have? Yeah. Rubber. And it's J.D. Salinger's son. And J.D. Salinger saw it and was like, no. Such a weird yeah. movie. We're going to talk about that one day. Uh, <laughs> do, have they ever like officially released no, that? No, I think it's all bootlegs. Well, it was. It, I got it on video as a kid. Because, again, it was another thing where I was like, this is yeah. a 1990. It played on TV. No, I know that. Yeah. But I don't think it ever got like a, if I'm wrong, tell me. But I don't think Please it ever tell got. tell me if there's a Criterion collection oh of the Captain God, America. No, with a minimalist poster and <laughs> Werner Herzog does a commentary track. <laughs> Red Skull anyway. was Italian. Anyway, where were we? Oh, yes, Francesca Neri's yeah. there. So he uh, saves her and her kid. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the police come, and they're yeah. like, we know who you are. You're Arnold Schwarzenegger. And there's um, there's terrorists near him. They're yeah. gorillas. Yeah. And they're like, one of them pulls out a needle, and the other one pulls out a gun. But, like, the cops aren't anywhere near these people. No. They only want to talk to Arnold. The six-foot Austrian guy... And so, like, and the guys are like, oh, they're probably here for us. And then yeah. they all just start opening fire. But it's one of those things where it's like, look, I'm a six foot fucking Austrian monster in this land. Yeah. They know I'm here. I'm trying to hide out. I'm trying to get this guy. Maybe I don't save the lady and her kid. Yeah. That sucks. It sucks yeah. that they're going to die. You know what they are, Newt? Collateral, Collateral damage. damage. <laughs> That's the name of the movie. Um, but no, like the, the people who like open fire on the cops, it's like the cops weren't after you. I okay. 
I, I've been I've been known to do some illegal stuff while cops were dealing with other people doing illegal stuff. Like there was one time when I was like 19, I think, or 20, and I went to a house party in Philly, and uh, me and my friend were walking outside, like drinking beer, mm-hmm. like because we I had to go to my car to something, and I was I was fucking gone at this point, <laughs> and we walked past a bar where yeah. we see a bunch of cops. And they're fucking beating the shit out of these dudes who were in a big bar fight. Like, actually big, beefy yeah, yeah. dudes. And, like, they're throwing them in the the paddy wagon and stuff. And this cop looks paddy at me. Paddy wagon? Yeah. What fucking century did this fight take place in? Like, well, sometimes you got to arrest more than one. Bill Butcher there? You got to <laughs> arrest more than one person sometimes. So th- I don't know what I, I don't know what happened, but it was pretty freaking brutal yeah. and the cop was pissed because he probably got punched to shit yeah and he had to beat the shit out of all these people <laughs> so the cop turns around and he looks at me and he's like you gotta be fucking kidding me and i'm like what he's like how old are you and i'm like oh 19 as i'm holding the beer and he's like do you want to go in there and i'm like no not especially <laughs> Uh, yeah, so then I tossed the beer and I rap, which was littering, but I guess he didn't want to arrest me for that. Mm-hmm. So that's when I learned, hey, if you're doing something illegal and the cops don't see you, they're dealing with other people, walk the other way. Just keep on walking. Don't, don't, don't go up to the cop and be like, whoa, <laughs> <laughs> I'm now committing I, a crime also, I, officer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I would go back to the idea that you were in a house party yeah. and I want someone to Photoshop you and I onto the cover of house party <laughs> with kid and play now. <laughs> I'd look good with a flat top. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so where were we? Um, yeah, so Arnold gets arrested. Yeah, he gets thrown in jail, and, and we meet John Turturro. Yes. John Turturro is a very famous actor. He's been You're, in a lot of you movies. You were, ob- obviously, you know John Turturro, because you were in Transformers 2, Revenge well, of the Fallen with John I call him JT. Oh, because okay. he and I, you know, oh, okay. eh, it's a whole thing. Like, you know, yeah, you yeah. Know, we're talking about the insides of acting on his right. work on Mr. Deeds and whatnot. Right, right, you know? right, right, um, right. So, yeah, John Turturro gets thrown into the cell next to him. Uh, the interesting thing is before this movie, mm-hmm. there was going to be. Wait, a, you son of a bitch. <laughs> that's the third time this during this review. Oh, my God. Um, uh, there was supposed to be a Crusades movie. Yes, from the, I just heard about yeah, this recently. Yeah, from the director of like RoboCop and Paul, and Verhoeven. Paul Verhoeven. And John Turturro, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger was going to play like a criminal. Uh, uh, he was like this warrior guy. And then mm. John Turturro was going to play a thief. And the two of them were going to, he was going to be his like comedic relief. And it was going to be, they get mistaken for this great night during the Crusades. And that's where the whole story kicks uh, off and the script is fucking amazing yeah but the movie never happened because showgirls was a giant failure which we have to review with crystal yes. i keep saying we have to review that with crystal yes um and uh so when i saw them in this and they're in the jail cell next to each other and i was like oh okay maybe some of that was yeah. from that but then like he's in one scene they don't like well he's in a couple scenes but all in the same place. He won't. Yeah, he he has a job down there. He won't tell him what his job is. Yeah, uh, it ter- turns out he like sells and manufactures like m- like machines. weapons. Well, or weapons, machines. but machines too. Machines, he, right? Yeah, right? Right? Because he does the uh, the generator. Yes, and uh, he has a pass to get into the gorilla territory mm-hmm. that Arnold needs. Yeah. Uh, so the uh, the terrorists show up to like I guess like uh, grab some of their guys yeah. out of jail, and this is when we realize like, wait, the wolf is. Why is the wolf so hands-on in all these terrorist activities? If you're the leader of a terrorist organization, you and you've gotten to that point, yeah, just hang back. Yeah, like Osama bin Laden wasn't in the plane. Yeah, you know? I mean there are exceptions, like General Butt Naked. That's a real person. Yeah. Uh, look up General Butt Naked. There's a couple YouTube documentaries on him. He was a. Uh, militant leader who was very active in his criminal activities and now he's a preacher that preaches peace oh good for him he violently murdered babies now he goes around preaching the good world. Holy <laughs> shit holy anyway fuck. but the point is there are exceptions but the wolf and the the cliff curtis's character he doesn't seem to be on the insanity level of general butt naked no 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 he seems like the guy who would hang back yeah and be like, and just he, let other people do his shit you, you show up to your your, your soldiers to, you know to boost morale yeah. you tell them what to do mm-hmm. and you promise them a bunch of bullshit they're yeah. never gonna get and then uh you, you hang back and you only really and then when they get back you go how did it go exactly <laughs> exactly but when, when they pull up i was said to you i was like 
wow, every movie in 2002 looked exactly the fucking With same. With the, like, the bluish the green, green lighting. Yeah, I was waiting for Ben Affleck's Daredevil to show up, uh, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah. And fucking Brad Pitt from Fight Club. Like, everything <laughs> looked the same, yeah. you know? <laughs> uh, I mean, movies go through that phase. Yeah, they, they they go through that phase where like a lot of big movies will suddenly mm. look the same. It didn't. No, I couldn't tell if it was desaturated because we watched a VHS copy of it. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm continuing my proud tradition of using giant 4K TVs. Like we have an 80 inch. 4K Ultra HD TV out yeah. there. We're watching the VHS transfer <laughs> of collateral damage. <laughs> like freaking assholes. I could have just maybe rented it, but why not? It's I free you, right And here. it was funny the other day when you brought this up, you're like, we're going to watch this movie. I was like, oh, is it on like Amazon or whatever? And you're like, oh no, we're going to watch a VHS yeah, trip. And I went, dude, why would I pay for it? I have it right here. The the gorillas come in, they release their yeah. guys. Arnold's like, oh, I'm going to get you. He gets like uh, one of those fucking like Big yeah, saw he has like a, a big uh, saw, and he's uh, releasing prisoners. And John mm. Tatoro is like, "Come on, man, let me out!" Yeah, and he's like, "Give me your pass." He's like, "But this is my livelihood. I'll be fucked without." And he's like, "Do you want to burn?" He tells him, "He's like, because he's a firefighter." Yeah, they they remind you several times, which I appreciate. It's the, the only thing in this movie that's consistent. I appreciate. Yeah, the movie reminding me he's a firefighter because if they, would, if would, they did not. The whole time I would have been like, why isn't he shooting people? Yeah. <laughs> like, why isn't he? Well, that's he what I said to you. You were like, well, why is it? I was like, well, I guess because like if he's just a Washington firefighter, he's probably not adept with firearms. Yeah. So I guess that makes a little bit yeah. more sense. But he tells John Totoro, he's like, here's what's going to happen. Your, your, your clothes are going to melt. Your mm -hmm. hair and skin are going to melt. Your socks your are going to catch on fire. Your socks are going to catch on fire. He's like saying, saying all this stuff. He's like, all right, here's my pass. Let yeah. me out. So he lets him out, and then he gives him some money for mm -hmm. his retirement fund. Yeah, and he tells him to tell the guys back at the camp. You know, John, John Turturro. John Turturro tells Arnold to tell the guys back at the camp that he got arrested for doing something really raunchy. Yeah, and, and I like, was like, huh. what's that? What, like, what is that? Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, hold on. Here we go. I'm going to use the bathroom real quick. Oh. oh. <laughs> we just said there was no bathroom. You're breaking continuity. We uh, we drank a couple Trulies, and these these sons of bitches run right through you. I had to pee several times, and I only had like two. This is my third one. I could be cutting all this out, but uh, I just want you to know what I had to deal with. Uh, an in, uh, an inconsiderate employee who uses the bathroom that we just said didn't exist earlier in the film, just totally breaking breaking continuity, and totally ruining the illusion of the show. The show that you guys use to escape from reality. Uh, I guess while I wait for him to fucking finish up draining the main vein, I want to remind everyone uh, you can buy uh, some merch on the merch store. Uh, donate on Patreon. Uh, we got. I'm going to do a lot of fun stuff on Patreon soon. I've actually scheduled it and planned it out. There's going to be some commentary tracks on there. I'm going to finally do it. I know I always say it and then I get held back, but I actually have the time and the resources to do everything I want to do now. God, God willing, God willing, something doesn't ruin it. Um, yeah, so you can uh, buy stuff there. And uh, of course, OnlyFans, OnlyFans is available. Now Newt's back and I no longer have to kill time. Now we're going to pretend we're in, okay, ready? We're back into the illusion of the show in the store that doesn't have a bathroom. Mm -hmm. That's right. I broke my own continuity. So, but the one thing I was wondering about John Turturro. Yeah. When he's like, oh, I fix machines and shit like that. And he's telling him like what he does and how, when he gets into the thing, yeah. how to do it. What if it was something that Arnold had no, like, what if he's like, I'm a dentist? <laughs> what the fuck would Arnold do then? And they're going to look at him and be like, no, he's not. Like, <laughs> Um, you pointed out that every mid-level terrorist in this oh, looks yeah, like... Oh, yeah, every mid-level guy for the boss in these types of movies all look like Justin's dad. Justin's dad, who was um okay boxer. Yeah. Rock and know. Rob Silverman. Yep. Not as good as, uh, was it Tommy the Tiger? That was a boxer. That was a that boxer. That was a boxer. Yep. Mm -hmm. Really, really good. But I, like, I don't want to make any accusations, but I think Rock and Rob might have been juicing. The point is... Tommy the Tiger was a great, exactly. great boxer. Oh, Justin's dad also, the day I started working at Screamwave, pulls up in the parking lot because he just shows up here randomly and goes, look at you, all grown up. I'm like, I'm 
at that time, 38 years old? Like, what are you talking about? Yeah, I've been growing up for a while. Um, it's hard to follow a hero who wears khakis everywhere. Nothing wrong with khakis. No, there's nothing wrong with Absolutely khakis. Absolutely nothing but wrong But your action khakis. hero maybe shouldn't be wearing khakis. Yes. Uh, so, yeah, they're going down the river, mm -hmm. and they see dead bodies, and it's like Apocalypse Now, but bad. Yeah, it was like they tried to recreate the scene where they used real dead bodies in Apocalypse Now, because oh, yeah. that movie was fucking insane. <laughs> we should um, do Apocalypse Now at some point. We'll, we'll do the- uh, We'll do a 10-hour long- 10-hour long <laughs> review of it. <laughs> Back when Francis Ford Coppola could re-edit a movie and make it good, and not just- even worse, like just, you did with Godfather 3. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet, but I read things where people who are huge Godfather fans are like, why? Anyway, uh, we finally get re uh, introduced to Luigi Clown. <laughs> John Leguizamo. John Leguizamo, who's actually the best thing about this movie. This, this movie keeps introducing characters that I think are going to be like his uh, ethnic sidekick. Yeah. And then just gets rid of them. Yeah. It just gets rid of them. John Leguizamo is like the dude who picks him up. and Yeah, and, he's like, I need someone to fix my generator. And he's wearing like a, a 90s era Metallica t-shirt yeah. and a cowboy hat. Yeah. And uh, they have good rapport. Like, it would be like a buddy movie. Yeah, it's really funny. Like, they get any other movie, you would have introduced him earlier. Yeah. And they would have went on this adventure together. Mm -hmm. Uh, because he's in there and he's like, you know, I'm trying to be like a rapper and he's like rapping and stuff. Yeah. And he's like, what do, what do you think? And Arnold's like, yeah, it's great. You're in the wrong profession. And I he's can like, see that's you what I keep telling people. <laughs> uh, John Leguizano was in a lot of crap, but he's a super good actor. Like he's an actor who I like gives an interesting performance in everything he's in. Yeah. And I'm like, all right, he's enjoying himself here, but everyone else is kind of phoning it in, you know? Yeah. The wolf. Yeah finds out that Arnold like slipped by them. Yeah. And the guy said he was unrecognizable because he had a hat on. Yeah. Again, the seven foot tall Austrian muscle man. What's well, like Clark Kent? How do you how do you miss him? <laughs> how do you miss him? In Colombia. In Colombia. Yeah. Everyone's brown and he's snowy white and seven feet tall, but no, it's fine. It's like, it reminds me of the scene in Desperado. It's like, how hard is it? You see someone you don't know, you kill him. I don't know him. He has a gun. It must be him. Like, just, just kill whoever you don't know. Um, but then the wolf decides to torture him. Which is weird. The classic film, getting back to Captain America, Three Dev Adam. Oh, Had a yes. more realistic torture scene with the guinea pigs. Uh, they were supposed to be rats. Oh, yeah. In yeah. the tube eating eyes. Mm -hmm. Uh you were a big fan of that. Horrible right? scene. <laughs> um, other, other than that, it would have been the best mm -hmm. Spider-Man movie. Uh, <laughs> that was literally the only thing stopping it, dude. So the guy gets a snake mm -hmm. and he shoves it down the henchman's throat yeah. until it suffocates him. But it's like, the snake's not going to want to go down no, there. He, they put like a saw device yeah. in his mouth to make it good. But the, the thing is, not it's going to come back for air. Like, that's not how... Yeah, then they just leave the snake in there. I'm yeah. like, well, that's mean to the snake. Exactly. I mean, obviously, they killed a guy. But, but, the but to be people. honest, but to be fair, he couldn't recognize Arnold because that's of that. That's true. So he probably deserved to die like the, <laughs> like the kid who took the connects out for the day. <laughs> uh, it's a bizarre torture scene. I don't know why... So Arnold's at the base now. Yeah, and he's he's working on the generator. Yeah, but he's not because he obviously doesn't know what he's doing. Probably. I, so he I, just, no, I think he knows what he's doing. He just kept like unscrewing things and looking at them, and they no, just no, kept coming what, back. Why? Why he was doing okay. it? You, you went to pee. I did go to pee in the bathroom that's not supposed to exist in the store. You went to pee. Uh, he was like unscrewing things, but he was like putting like gunpowder and oh, like I think like acetone okay. in like all the lights and stuff because yeah. he's a fire guy. He knows. He knows what will explode. But still, again, hey, there's a seven foot tall white guy going around, like, touching shit. Should we call somebody? Well, no, he had a pass. It doesn't matter. Does John Leguizamo vouch for him. If you're running a terrorist cocaine organization, especially cocaine, like you've seen Scarface, everyone's a little on edge. Yeah. You know, and maybe yeah. they're like, hey fucking dudes touching things yeah. you know you got the guy who was like stomping things like the i love lucy episode you know what the fuck was he grapes what I, was he doing i don't know what he was doing but anyway nighttime comes yeah and they go to turn on everything and john leguizamo's talking to one of the guerrilla soldiers mm -hmm. uh and they go to fire up the generator and like just explosions everywhere. everything just starts the exploding. lights are exploding like everyone's dying <laughs> uh poor john leguizamo gets killed again another character that they introduce that people know and they just go Boom. So I said, uh, uh, Leguizamo, no mas. No mas. No mas. <laughs> and then Arnold puts like a grenade near the wolf's like office. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, no, no, no. Uh, he gets under the truck first. Okay. And they take him to the wolf. Right. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. But then he plants a grenade. He does plant a grenade. But again, because giant chunks of this movie are just taken out, he just knows that even though all these things happen, they're just going to drive away instead of going to kill the seven foot tall Austrian guy. Yes. So they just conveniently take him to exactly where he needs to yes. be in a country. Yes. And then he plants Columbia the grenade. is a country, right? Huh? Columbia's yes. not a country. No, it is. It is? Yeah, Columbia. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's a university. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and that's why when he got out from under the truck, he's like, oh, I'm in the wrong place. Oh, it was no. Columbia University. So he, he plants the grenade mm -hmm. uh, and he, he's going away. He's like, ha oh, my job is done. Yeah, he does it like with a, a rubber band and when the yeah, rubber yeah, band like, like, like rubber extends. Yeah, the rubber band that he knows is going to extend. Yeah. But then he sees Francesca Neri and her son. Yep. And he's like, oh, no, I'm reminded of my wife and son who that died in a terrorist up. attack. So he's like, no, get away. And then the wolf just kind of like fucking jumps down yeah, on yeah, top of a car. The wolf is like, that sounds like an Austrian man. Probably should leave. So he jumps out. Out a window. The, yeah. And they're like, <laughs> wait, wait, like 10 people die. Uh, and but he jumps out the window. Yeah. Uh, and he goes to kill. Uh, no. Freedom Fighters. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, he goes to kill Arnold, but then the woman, Francesca, she's yeah. like, no, don't do it. Are you crazy? Yeah. Turns out that's the wolf's wife. Yes. And they're not son. And they explain not... it later. Yeah, which I thought was weird, but okay. Yeah. Uh, I With the twist, I get it. Yeah. I get it yeah, with the twist. Yeah, yeah. Um, So yeah, she's like, no, don't kill him. Uh, so they arrest him. Mm -hmm. They're like interrogating him or something. Mm -hmm. and he's fighting him and he like grabs the guy's dick. Well, he's handcuffed. <laughs> yeah. And then he just starts fighting the dudes. First off, this movie's edited so poorly. It is. And it's shot so poorly. Like yes. from a guy who's like, even the Steven Seagal movies have some form of flow to their action. But well, again, remember they did, this movie is chopped to shit. Yeah. So maybe there were but like the fight scenes were just a lot of this on yeah. somebody's back. Yeah. And but the one scene is Schwarzenegger just grabs a dude's dick. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty great. And then he like bites a guy's oh, ear off. Oh, he bites off. a guy's ear off. I said yeah. he Mike Tyson them. So they beat the shit out of him again. Mm -hmm. He's down there. And then yeah. the girl tells her his er, he tells him her sad story. Mm -hmm. She's like, oh, he, the wolf used to be a teacher and we were surrounded by gorillas and they killed this boy's parents yeah. and we took him in and then the wolf joined the gorillas mm -hmm. and became their leader and I just I'm so stuck here and you're becoming just like him and he's like you could change and she's like no I can't bye yeah. and 15 seconds later hey I'm back let's get out of here yeah. and I was like what <laughs> it's just back <laughs> and I changed my mind yeah um <laughs> yeah so uh at some point, a, a Casey Jones. Casey Jones shows Elias up. Elias Cotillas. Cotillas uh, he shows up with helicopters and they just start lighting that fucking Holy place shit, up. Holy shit, just fucking daisy cutters. Just destroying yes. the village. Yes, which these days would be done with a drone. Yeah. And it's actually one of the more realistic parts of the movie. <laughs> because we're sitting I do, there. We're, I do like the CGI missiles, though. Oh my God, the yeah, CGI the CGI missiles. missiles blow, they blow the shit up yeah. out of this place. Yep. And then <laughs> fucking we're sitting there. We're like, what about all those innocent women and children? And then we were like, oh, they're collateral damage. Exactly. So it's a metaphor. Yeah. So uh, Arnold's trying to get away. Mm -hmm. He's got the girl and her son. Yeah. The wolf has already fled at this mm -hmm. point because um, he's got another target. He has another DC. target. Yep. Uh, so he's there with his with the girl and the guy, the kid. And they come across a minefield mm -hmm. and he like figures out how to throw the thing in the minefield. He mine finds field. like a broken axe and like something and a chain that just yes. so happened to be in the forest. Yes, very convenient. Yeah, That's where course. you find chains mm -hmm. and axes. And like, hey, how's this get here? He said to the director and the director's like, I don't know. Yeah. Because it's there. So they're throwing it. I love how like the minefield has the crossbow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, blows up a mine, mm -hmm. which uh, alerts not the American army. It's like, I think... The CIA is working with Columbia's military. Yeah, because I, I was confused about that. The one dude was like a meaty, clearly stunt man. Yeah. He kind of looked like the dude who was the bad guy uh, in Major League Two, the free agent guy. Okay. Um, but uh, so that guy was with the CIA, but he was also with the guerrillas. So when we were watching it, we're like, wait, was he American? What is happening? I think here? he was. He wasn't one of the guerrillas. I think he was working for like the Colombian army. Yeah. So they're or having like a really cheesy fight. Yeah. They keep cutting back to the pins that are sticking out of the ground that yes. if you touch on them. They explode. Yeah. Mine. That's how landmines work. Yes. Um. So they blow. He, Arnold kills a guy. Yeah. 
who's not a guerrilla or terrorist. I assume he's an old soldier for the gun, which I think would cause a big problem. Exactly. But instead, he's like, you're not going to. First off, he yells at Elias because he's like, you're basically doing the same mm -hmm. thing. He's like, oh, but we're getting the poison off the streets. I'm like, I don't I don't know. I think <laughs> a little bit of cocaine. How dare you? I mean, you might, you might get some people overdosing on cocaine, but you just blew up a bunch of women and yeah. children. Well, they were using him as bait, basically. So they oh, had. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that was also confusing. I don't think that was set up mm -hmm. as well as it could have been. Yeah. Or maybe it was, but this movie's so frantic, I forgot. Yeah. But yeah, they like used him to get in there to get the wolf. But then he's like, "You idiot! He's not even here." Yeah. He's like, "You're going to take me to DC. You're gonna take her and her son because they know what the target is." Or yeah. Whatever. So they fly him back mm -hmm. to uh, the CIA headquarters. Yeah. Um, the wolf is now in America. The wolf is with a haircut. With a haircut. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then uh, here's the scene where you and I were watching it, and I was like, "Oh, hey, that looks like the lady from Role Models." And or, you're like, or "Glee, no. yeah." And Glee, yeah. And, and I'm, I'm like, like Jane, "Jane Lynch." And, uh, like, and you're nah, like, that's "No." Not her. That's, and we looked it up, and it was Jane Lynch. And then they cut, they cut, cut up closer. We're like, "Oh, that is Jane Lynch." Yeah. <laughs> this is before anyone really knew. Yeah, who she exactly. Was. We were like taken out of the movie for a few minutes yeah. because then we just started talking about really funny Jane Lynch things. <laughs> 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 we have the minds of children. Yes. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, uh, the wolf yeah. plants a suitcase mm -hmm. in Union Station. Yes. Uh, but then a homeless guy picks it up. <laughs> Which I called Bum Bum. <laughs> yes, yes, the Bum Bum. Uh, and he takes it away. So they're talking to the girl. They're like, where is his target? And they're showing her different mm -hmm. places. She says, like, yes, Union Station, that is the place. Yeah. Uh, so the government's, like, going there. Mm hmm uh, that should try and stop the bomb. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, the girls, I guess she's going to the bathroom with Jane mm -hmm. Lynch, uh, but she really wants her son to come with, with her. Mm -hmm. And by the way, he's had a T-Rex toy this whole the movie. The entire time. Just one of the T-Rex toy. Yes. Yeah, this much way. like that. Don't worry. That one's safe. Okay, Take okay. it home with you. I want you to have that. I want you to have that, Newt. <laughs> Really want you to have that T-Rex toy from Fucking Jurassic Park 3. Just make it quick. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, she's like, come on, come on, come on. And the kid says no. And she goes. And does and, the thing from yes. the terrorist video. But, but Arnold, this is my favorite. Arnold's like, what are you doing? It's fine. I'll watch him. And then she looks like kind of sad because she's the bad guy. Spoiler. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so she like walks away. And then Arnold's like, oh, that was weird. And then he looks, and they have pictures printed out of the shadowy terrorist literally doing this. Yeah. The very frame that we need to show yeah. the visual. But what's funny about this is, <laughs> so nude, I don't know if you know this, mm -hmm. but I, not Colombian, but I have a lot of immigrants in my family. No. Who are Italian. No. And I don't know if you know that. I, you know, I'm doing it right now. Italians, like, they use their hands mm -hmm. when they talk and do things. Yeah. Like this and this and this. That's a, that's a trait that people from America do not do not have yeah. unless you grew up with parents from other places that mm -hmm. do that. Or if you're uh, from New Jersey. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so Arnold sees the girl do this and then assumes that she is now the terrorist because he also did this. And it's like, that is a stretch. Yeah. That is a like, if I was in this movie. I'd be like, oh no, my, well, she's now dead, but I'd be like, oh no, my Aunt Pina is a terrorist because she also <laughs> went like this. I love my Aunt Pina. Anyway, <laughs> uh, but you know, but that's the first, I remember being as a kid, I'm like, well, I know a lot of people talk with their hands and do those motions. I wouldn't connect the dots. And you just look back and give them like a side eye. You're like, I'm on to you. <laughs> I literally, the only thing I remember from this movie was the scene where he mm -hmm. beats up the guy saying collateral damage. Yeah. And this twist, because I remember the twist was so, so stupid. Because I thought originally, because I, like I said, I've never seen this before. Yeah. I was like, okay, well, Eliza Katias or uh, John Turturro would be the obvious choices to be the shadowy bad yeah. guy. But no, it was so much stupider than that. Yes. You know? <laughs> and then, so she was in on it the whole time. Yeah. She's happy to be the wolf's wife. Yep. Uh, I guess she stole that kid just for whatever. Mm -hmm. um, she needed to get the dinosaur in there because that was the true yes, bomb. Yes. The dinosaur was the bomb. And uh, you find out that the suitcase, the bum is like trying to open the suitcase. And then they beat the shit out of the bum and then it opens up. And, and there's it's nothing empty. in it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if they're terrorists, why not also put a bomb in there? Yeah, why just not? in case. Why not? Up. Yeah. Uh, also, I love how she just knew that they weren't going to put the T-Rex through the scanner. Yeah. It's like, uh, no, they'll probably scan that. I too. watched uh, when I when uh, Crystal and I were in uh, 
uh, L.A. in November, mm. we watched a kid who couldn't get his Disney toy through the thing and freaked the fuck out because yeah. they wouldn't let him send his Disney toy through the thing. So, yeah, they checked that shit. Well, to be fair, this is pre-9-11. <laughs> it is true. It's, well, <laughs> well the, movie, yeah. the movie came out post-9-11. Yeah. It was pre-9-11. Um, yeah, well, actually, the, this isn't the TSA. So, of course, the TSA would have... They would have made sure that toy got scanned. Yep. Uh, and been real assholes about it. <laughs> um, no offense if you're in the TSA, but I expect you to be... Uh, TSA gets shit done. I, I expect you to be used to those jokes for mm. the last 20 years. <laughs> uh, yeah, so <laughs> Arnold realizes what's happening. Mm -hmm. He sees the T-Rex eyes light up. Yeah. And he's like, God, oh, it's a bomb. So I... I mean, I thought, God damn it, we're filming this on the funniest day. Because I was about to say, I thought government buildings had better security. But as we learned today. <laughs> so apparently, you can just pick up a suitcase and throw it out a window in a government building. It'll just shatter right away. <laughs> and it's, they're on the top floor of a government building. Yeah. And just this Austrian dude is able to throw a suitcase through the type of glass that would be on the... Because you know that building in Philly, like the whole top of it is yeah, glass? Yeah, th th That building, that glass is meant to like withstand the elements. Yeah. But he just is able to throw a suitcase yeah. through it. That would be like... Is it because it's... This, oh, he's Hercules from Hercules in New York. That's and right. that's how this works. It, that would be like, it's so ridiculous that a building would have that shitty of like you know security and glass stuff glass too yeah. though you know yeah that would be like if, if you ever saw like a guy dressed up like a bull in the senate in the <laughs> capitol building like it's obviously not gonna happen it's ridiculous yes anyway so he breaks the, the glass, glass and which he you throws the t-rex but he throws the t-rex and those ceilings were fucking high dude. yeah so th again why this movie feels like a parody. Yeah. Like, it feels like something that would have done in, like, Team America World Police, almost, yes. you know? Yes, So he throws it out there. It, it explodes. Blows the top of the building. And, but at the same... And, yeah, fucking forget that they blew threw it out there and it blew up. Everyone in that place has a concussion yes. now. Yes. And you know who, uh, you know who tragically dies in the bathroom? Jane Lynch. Jane Lynch. She gets her neck Fucking neck's breaks snapped. her neck. This, this chick, like, is a murderer. So then she gets on, like, the no elevator. No one on the cast of Glee is going to be left. Like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's on the elevator. She takes out a fucking dude. Yeah. Uh, and then Elias is at the elevator. He's, like, opening fire. But then he's like, what happened? Then she sneaks out, bullseyes him in the right head. Right in the head. But he's just firing wildly like an asshole. Yeah. And she just goes, boop, and just kills Elias Coutillas. <laughs> yeah, he should have used one of his helicopter missiles. Exactly. He has better luck with yeah. those. Or uh, he could have worn his hockey mask from <laughs> Ninja Turtles. <laughs> So then Arnold sees uh, her going down the elevator. He takes his belt off and, and jumps down the elevator shaft. And because rides the Matrix, it. I guess, did it really well. <laughs> but he rides it down, and then he goes through the top of an elevator like it's made of cardboard. Look, elevators are made of fucking metal. Yeah, you know. And he just goes through it like it's wet yeah. tissue. So they have another mission. They're gonna blow up another building. Yeah, I think it's the building they're in. Yeah. Because they, they park a car underneath. Mm -hmm. And motorcycles. Uh, yeah, well, they, they park the car and then they take their motorcycles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, Arnold chases them down. Mm -hmm. uh, after he gets into a fight with the girl in the elevator shaft. <laughs> so they both get on their motorcycle and they're taking off. And Arnold, like, kind of outsmart. It's kind of mm -hmm. confusing. Yeah. So Arnold, like, knows where they're going to be. <laughs> and since he's a fire guy. Exactly. We have to be reminded. Starts, he grabs the fire axe and he cuts the gas line in this <laughs> underground tunnel. Which I think is a you should not do. But he's a firefighter. Maybe he knows. But it what went happened. up like Ray kicking the line in Ghostbusters 2, which those people are really fucking mad about. They're still, still protesting out there. That it's that easy to do to take out the gas line, just like it's that easy to take out all the power. Yeah. I'm like, movie, can I talk to your supervisor, yeah. maybe? <laughs> so then the girl's motorcycling up to them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like they're like talking to each other. Yeah, they're saying like one liners or whatever. Mm -hmm. and, like she's like firing, and she sparks the explosion. Yeah. It's the dumbest. CGI oh, this is where we laugh. We lost the it. fucking hardest. <laughs> like, oh wait, we also missed it in the fight. Oh no, this is coming up. Yeah, Arnold throws her through what looked like it. It blows up. Mm -hmm. The the CGI fire is fucking hilarious. Yes, it's so bad. Arnold gets like the the force of the blast like 
flings him across. Which isn't a thing. Like, I was watching, like, one of the John Wick movies the yeah. other night, and, like, there's, even today we're doing the whole thing where the force of the blast will throw you. It's like, you're dead. Your bones are vibrating yeah. and shattered. But like, he, you're like, dead. holds on to the staircase, so he's there. And then you think, okay, well, those people have been engulfed in flames. They're yeah. dead. What I would do there is I would have him go out and maybe one of their charts, like, bodies, like, in a jump yeah. scare or something like that. But instead, Or, like, in the relic. When the relic is on fire, yeah. well, not the relic, the monster, the monster, yeah, yeah, yeah. the relic, the monster is like on fire and shit. But so they're both not even, their their clothes aren't even dirty. No, they're like scraped and scratched yeah. from falling off the motorcycle, so, but they, they got covered in the flame. So she, yeah, oh yeah, that's the whole thing. It's like, what the fuck? So she starts fighting him. He grabs her, he punches her, yeah. and then throws her through what I can only assume was a set from the 1960s Star Trek show. I don't know what it was. It was some kind of terminal for something, and she just gets electrocuted. But it was like made of cardboard, yeah. and she gets electrocuted. Yeah. Then he pops up, yeah, and he's fine now too. The wolf is fighting him, and he like gets the Arnold on the ground. Then he pulls out the cell phone, yeah, because he's gonna ignite Call the to bomb. Ignite the oh, we bomb. found out that uh, Francesca, the girl, she set off the bomb that killed the, his yeah, wife. Because the kid. guy says in the beginning, he's like, "Oh, well, there was a cell phone that set it off. Did you happen to see a cell phone?" What? Like, yeah. really? You know, yeah. my family just died and you showed it to me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so she was there in a blonde wig. Yeah. I don't know how he knows she was there in a blonde wig. <laughs> That's a little bizarre. Because he's a firefighter. That's true. <laughs> uh, he's very observant. Yeah. So the guy's all like, oh, when were you going to kill me? Like, something like that. And Arnold just goes, no. And, and fucking <laughs> throws an axe at him. And I was like, let me ask you a question. <laughs> yeah. And then in the movie, they're like, good job, Arnold. You own this kid now. Yeah. This illegal alien that, like, was associated with terrorists. Yeah. I know it's not his fault, but you could just have him. I'm like, I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> well, that's how Bruce Wayne keeps getting kids. Like, <laughs> <I guess so. laughs> And then they get into, like, a truck, and they just leave. And oh, that's but the, the end of the movie. But they also say his name, finally. That his name was Gordon. No, his name was... They said his name earlier. Uh, but again, I don't ever remember yeah, hearing Gordon his name. Gordon Brewer? Gordon, Gordon Brewer. Gordon Brewer, yeah. I think. And I was like, yeah, Arnold sound looks like a, a Gordon Brewer. Yeah, I, when I think Gordon Brewer, I think I Arnold, think Arnold Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger. Just like Jericho. Yeah, but then the movie just ends there, and I yeah. was like, what? Like, I'm surprised it didn't have like a cheesy-ass song or something. Yeah. Just this... <sighs> Maybe if we saw the original cut the way it was intended to be maybe it'll be a little bit better or make a little bit more sense maybe less fran how long is this movie by uh, the i don't way? know it didn't feel long at all no it's um 109 minutes really yeah didn't feel like 109 minutes it didn't feel it it feels pretty fast yeah but it's also uh, because you're trying to figure out what the fuck is going on yeah and your brain is frantically trying to i yeah. hit the mic you hit the mic i yes. hit the mic that your brain is frantically trying to fill in the pieces yeah of the story yeah. like because it's also very forgettable i'm yeah. forgetting the movie as i'm watching no it. and that's uh after we watched it i had to go take care of something and then come back something that was gas line related <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I was like okay we're gonna do this review I was like fuck I don't think I remember enough of what we <laughs> just know. watched I'm like setting up and I'm just like what happened I'm like wait yeah I know. I'm like, uh, what's his name? Ortiz was in this. What did he do? Like, yeah. I just forgot the movie as we're watching but, it. Because, again, it's like I said, it's a fart of a movie. Yeah. It was one of those movies towards the end where Schwarzenegger was like, whatever, the check cleared. Yeah. It's fine. And it's just like, it. it's just so forgettable. Yeah. And just, but it's funny because the dude who I met over there uh, yeah. for, to turn the gas thing off, he's like, oh, what are you doing at work so late? And I was like, oh, we're doing a review of Collateral Damage. And he turns to me, he's like, that movie's awesome. Really? Yeah. <laughs> And I was like, do you want to come back and do the review? <laughs> well, we found the one guy who yeah. likes collateral damage. And it was amazing. I had to get through all the protesters to get there. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised they let you back. Well, that's where you got your scrape that's from, right? That's where I right? got my right, scrape right? from. Yep. I think the biggest problem with this movie is yeah. like, this is Arnold. He wants revenge mm -hmm. on bad guys. You want to see him with guns. Yeah. You want to see Arnold taking out people with guns. Yeah. Like, I, all I want is to see Arnold with guns. Oh my God, Some, someone broke through the barricade. Oh my God, Newt, it's Arnold Schwarzenegger with a gun. He doesn't look that happy. 